Welcome to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ Christmas Gala 2018. Tonight, the Upper Room Music and Fine Arts Department proudly presents Jesus, the Gift of Christmas, featuring the Upper Room Sanctuary Choir and Praise Team, the Upper Room Church House Band, songs and other presentations from the Upper Room Youth Department, including a debut performance by the band Overflow, and last, but certainly not least, the one and only Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Now join in as we celebrate Christmas and the extraordinary gift that keeps on giving, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come on, let's honor the God of the Bible on tonight. Hallelujah. We honor our set man. Bishop Wooden is here and was ready at 6 o'clock. He kept his word, just like you all. But there has to be some last-minute adjustments that needed to be made. And so as they made the adjustments, our leader was waiting patiently. But he's on his way out. Thank God for each and every one of you coming out on tonight. Let's thank God for Elder Clarence Rayford putting on such a wonderful event. Please receive them at this time.
Join me in welcoming to the stage the masters and mistresses of ceremony for this evening's gala, Elder Donnie Wright, Evangelist Evangela Williams, Brother Deontay Tyler, and Sister Catherine Whitney. some stadium noise for Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. So, have you greeted your neighbor on tonight? Have you said good evening? Have you said Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, choir. Let us clap our hands for our bishop. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. Thank God for his vision for allowing this to be. And for our First Lady, First Lady Pamela Wooden, let's Amen. clap our hands for them. Amen. And we would like to give a special great thank you to this sanctuary choir. They are so faithful to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. They're not just a sanctuary choir, but they're a group of people who sing under the anointing of God. And we thank God for them. They're faithful. They travel with our bishop near and far from the sopranos. Let's yeah. give them some praise. To the altos. Yeah. To the tenor. God bless this choir that is led under the leadership of our very own Elder Rayford. Yes, we appreciate all that you do for this ministry, Elder Rayford. Tonight will be a night to remember. Tonight we'll be honoring those in need, honoring hardworking men and women of the different auxiliaries here at the Upper Room. And finally, we'll be celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Are you guys excited tonight? Yes. And, and while you're clapping, being that, you know, I'm a musician myself, we got to give something to this band over here. Woo! We, we, we have to say something about the church Absolutely. house band. Absolutely. How could I forget that? The church house band, they are faithful. They're saved. The drummer is amazing. That means a lot now. That means a lot. Yes. These guys are wonderful. These they guys are, are great. They really are. I want, let's do it one more time. Give a yes. church house band. Hand clap to them. Okay, let's Y'all see that ready. drummer. Get it ready for our first act of the presentation. Please count our hands and receive the Upper Room Sanctuary Choir. Christ the Lord is 
is King of Kings. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Thank you for coming out tonight. This next song, we all, all of our lives, have heard about the Christmas story of how Jesus came. And uh, Dr. Foster alluded to it earlier. They found him wrapped in swaddling clothes, and we know the whole story about how Jesus came and in Bethlehem, and uh, we know that this has been a story that we've heard all our life. But the reality of it is, the reality of it is, is that when you get to know Christ, 
then what you actually just discover is that it's not only a story. The reality of it is that once you get to know Christ, it's more than a story. How, how many in here, by a show of hands, have a story about how you met Christ? So when we met Christ, it wasn't just about Christmas and just a Christmas day or the, the Christmas story. It became very personal. I have a story. The Lord saved me. He saved me, sanctified me, filled me with the Holy Ghost. I stand here today because of the Lord Jesus Christ. If he had not come, I would not be here today. If he had not come, many of us would be lost today. So, as the choir come today to share this beautiful song, more than a story. Could you please welcome to the stage, Miss Marlene White. I used to spend each Christmas not acknowledging the Lord for His sacrifice and His love for me because it had not yet dawned on me how much He loved me by coming down in the likeness of sinful flesh and dying so that I could be saved from, from my sins. And not only did He do that, 
He continues to bless me even though I know that I am unworthy of any of His blessings. And so when it comes to Christmas, I was caught up in the lights, I was caught up in the decorations, I was caught up in eating cookies and drinking cocoa by a fireplace. But when I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, everything changed. And um, Christmas had a totally different meaning. I mean, I knew that he was a part of Christmas, you know, growing up, but it didn't really, it didn't click. I was, it's like my heart was still blind or not really just. So when I really accepted him as my Lord and Savior, I was no longer moved by the lights during the Christmas season, but the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And no, not really the decorations, but more so being able to be adorned in righteousness that he, that he gives to each and every one of us as believers. And he took away those rags of sin that, and that was holding me down for so, for so long. And not only that, I love cookies and hot chocolate, but I enjoy much more the bread of life that comes from Jesus Christ because it brings peace, hope, love, and joy. And I thank God for his living water that I can drink every day and not thirst and not have to worry about a thing in this world. So I just thank God that he is more than a story and he is truly the reason for the season. More than a story. Right now we want to do, go to church a little bit for you. Got a very special young lady who's coming. Who's going to help us sing, go tell it on the mountain. What are we telling on the mountain? That Jesus Christ is born. Sister Barbara, let's give it up. 